Good morning, students. Today we will discuss phenetic versus phylogenetic systems. We discussed several classifications in my earlier lectures. Some of them are based on phylogenetic systems. So, what are phylogenetic system and on on which uh, methodology they are based so we will discuss today in which methodology methodology phenetic systems and, and on which methodology phylogenetic systems are based so the topic is phylogenetic versus phenetic versus phylogenetic systems systematics aims at developing classifications based on different criteria and often a distinct methodology is employed for the analysis of data. Data handling for establishing relationships between organisms often makes use of one of the two methods, phenetic methods and phylogenetic methods, often providing different types of classifications. Distinction is sometimes also made between phylogenetic and evolutionary classification schemes. Now, phylogenetic methods is also called numerical taxonomy. Phenetic methods also called numerical taxonomy. Numerical taxonomy is a developing branch of taxonomy which received a great impetus with the development and advancement of computers. This field of study is also known as mathematical taxonomy according to Jardin and Simpson. 1971, Exometrix according to Mayer 1966, Eximetrix according to Rogers 1963, Multivariate Morphometrix according to Beckett and Raymond 1971, and Phenetics. The modern methods of numerical taxonomy had their beginning from the contributions of Sneath 1957. Mishner and Sokol 1957 and Sokol and Mishner 1958, which culminated in the publication of Principle of Numerical Taxonomy by Sokol and Sneath 1963, with an expanded and updated version, Numerical Taxonomy by Sneath and Sokol. The last few decades have seen a forceful debate on the suitability of the empirical approach or operational approach in the systematic studies. Empirical taxonomy forms classification on the basis of taxonomic judgment based on observational data and not assumptions. Operational taxonomy on the other hand is based on operational methods. Experimentation to evaluate the observational data before a final classification. Numerical taxonomy finds a balance between the two as it is both empirical and operational. This like this. This is empirical, this is operational and numerical taxonomy is between this. So this is relationship between empirical, operational and numerical taxonomy after Smith and Sokol 1973. It must be remembered that the numerical taxonomy does not produce new data or a new system of classification, but is rather a new method of organizing data that could help in better understanding of relationships. Spatial classifications are based on one or a few characters or on one set of data. Numerical taxonomy seeks to base classifications on a large, on a greater number of characters from many set of data is an effort to produce an 
entirely phonetic classification of maximum predictivity. Now, principles of numerical taxonomy. On which on principles on which numerical taxonomy is based. The philosophy of modern methods of numerical taxonomy is based on ideas that were first proposed by the French naturalist Michael Adamson, 1763. He rejected the idea of giving more importance to certain characters and believed that. Natural taxa are based on the concept of similarity, which is measured by taking all characters into consideration. Not certain characters, but all characters into consideration. The principles of modern numerical taxonomy developed by Sneath and Sokel, 1973, are based on the modern interpretation of the Adamsonian principles and as such are termed neo adensonian principles. These principles of numer numerical taxonomy are listed below. The greater the content of information in the taxa of a classification and the more characters it is based upon, the better a given classification will be. So, there must be The greater content of information in the taxa and more characters should be there. So, the classification, the given classification will be better. A priori, every character is of equal weight in certain, in creating natural taxa. Every character is of equal weightage. Next, overall similarity between any two entities is a function of their individual similarities in each of the many characters in which they are being compared. Distinct taxa can be recognized because correlations of characters differ in the groups of organisms under When there is difference in correlations of characters, we can identify distinct texts. Phylogenetic inferences can be made from the taxonomic structures of a group and from character correlations giving, given certain assumptions about evolutionary pathways and mechanisms. Taxonomy is viewed and practiced as an empirical science. And last, classifications are based on phonetic similarity. So these are the principles on which numerical taxonomy is based. The methodology of numerical taxonomy involves the selection of operational units. They may be populations, species, genera, etc., from which the information is collected. These are operational units, selection of operational units and characters. The information from these is recorded and similarity and distance, similarity or distance between units determined using various statistical the ultimate analysis involves comparison of similarity data and constructing diagrams or models which provide a summary of the data analysis. These diagrams or models are used for final synthesis and better understanding of relationships. Now, the major advantages of numerical taxonomy over conventional taxonomy are Numerical taxonomy has the power to integrate data 
from a variety of sources such as morphology physiology phytochemistry embryology anatomy palynology chromosomes ultra structure and micromorphology this is very difficult to do by this is very difficult to do this by conventional taxonomy second advantage is considerable automation of the data processing promotes efficiency and the work can be handled by even less skilled workers also data coded in numerical form can be integrated with existing data processing systems in various institutions and used for creation of descriptions keys catalogs maps and other documents this is very important the methods being quantitative provide greater discrimination along the spectrum of taxonomic differences and can provide better classification and keys the creation of explicit data tables for numerical taxonomy necessitates the use of more and better described characters which will necessarily improve conventional taxonomy as the application of numerical taxonomy has posed some fresh questions concerning classification and initiated efforts for re-examination of classification systems a number of biological and evolutionary concepts have been reinterpreted thus introducing renewed interest in biological research these are advantages of numerical taxonomy over conventional taxonomy numerical taxonomy aims at determining phenotypic relationship between organisms or taxa can and harrison 1960 defined phenotypic relationship as an arrangement of overall similarity based on all available characters without any pairing sneath and sokal 1973 define phenotypic relationship as similarity or resemblance based on a set of phenotypic characters characteristics of the objects or organisms under study it is distinct from a cladistic relationship which is an expression of the recency of common ancestry and is represented by a branching network of ancestor descendant relationship whereas the phenotypic relationship is represented by a phenogram the cladistic relationship is depicted through a phenogram so this is all about genetic system now we move to phylogenetic methods that is cladistics phylogenetic methods aim at developing a classification based on an analysis of phylogenetic data and developing a diagram termed a cladogram which depicts the genealogical descent of taxa biologists who practice this methodology are known as cladists although phylogenetic diagrams now appropriately known as phylograms have been used by besse 1915 hutchinson 1959 1973 and contemporary authors of classification system to show relationships between taxa the cladograms are distinct in the 
in that they are developed using a distinct methodology. This method was first proposed by W. Henning, 1915-1957, a German zoologist who founded the subject of phylogenetic systematics. The term cladistics for this methodology was coined by Mayer, 1969. An American botanist, W. H. Wagner, working independently, developed the method of constructing phylogenetic trees called the ground plan divergence method in 1948. Over the years, Cladistics has developed into a forceful methodology for developing phylogenetic methodologies. Cladistics is a methodology that attempts to analyze phylogenetic data objectively in a manner parallel to taxometrics which analyzes phonetic data. Cladistic methods are largely based on the principle of parsimony according to which the most likely evolutionary rule is the shortest hypothetical pathway of changes that explain the pattern under observation. Taxa in a truly phylogenetic system should be monophyletic. It has been found that simplicio-morphy, that is, position of primitive or plesiomorphic character state in common by two or more taxa, does not necessar necessarily indicate monophyly. Synapomorphy, that is, position of derived or apomorphic character state in common by two or more taxa, on the other hand, is more reliable indicator of monophyly. Thus, it is thus common to use homologous, shared, and derived characters for cladistic. The methodology of cladistics is similar to taxometrics in several aspects. So, this is all about theoretically and principally, this is all about uh, phonetic methods and phylogenetic methods. I hope you will understand this topic. Thank you.